Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and check out this sunshine we've got here in Blackpool. Now, on a few videos, I have mentioned that there's a lack of trees and green spaces here in Blackpool, especially around the centre and the promenade here now. A lot of people say, oh, you can't grow trees near the promenade. I don't think that's a good excuse, actually. I've been to the East Coast recently, back in January. I went to Scarborough and I went to Skegness and they have loads of trees and very close to the promenade as well. But we don't have that in Blackpool. We do have a few parks and green spaces around the outside, but most of the parks we do have are not really tourist, touristy parks. We've got Watson Park in South Shore. We've got Refo Park, which is um, not too far from where I am now. I'm not far from the central pier. But we do have one park, which is very, very touristy and it's huge and that is Stanley Park. But how do you get to Stanley Park from here on the promenade? As you can see, we're just down from the tower. I'll show you behind me. I've got the central pier right here. Well, in this video, I want to show you how to get to Stanley Park from right here by the central pier. You can walk, but it's a bit of a walk. It's probably about 35 minutes. So I'm, I'm gonna take you in the car and I'll show you how to get there. Okay, so here are a few facts about Stanley Park in Blackpool and why you should visit. It's going on 100 years old. It opened in 1926 by the Earl of Derby and it's a huge space. They've got everything that you could wish for in a park. They've got a boating lake, they've got gardens, amazing gardens, the Italian gardens. They've also got a cafe there, the Parks Cafe, which is really, really good. They've got football pitches, all weather pitches, sports arena they have a cricket club there a golf club and they also have loads and loads of nature trails as well just look at this view now a blackpool beach don't you wish you were in blackpool now and there's the central pier there but we're going to be heading inland just over a mile inland i'm going to be driving and i'm going to head that way straight across from the central pier we want to head due east probably take about seven minutes in the car now unfortunately you can't get a tram to stanley park but you can get a bus if you want to get to stanley park on a bus you want the 5b and i believe that you can catch that in the town center check it out we've got the old trams running this is balloon 717 look at that I think it's a learner driver. Anyway, we're heading to Stanley Park and we're going to head straight down there. OK, so I'm on the road now on the promenade and I'm going to head towards the central pier and I'll take that turn and we'll head towards Stanley Park. Now, this is also the most direct route if you're walking as well. I just want to give you a good idea how to get there. It says on Google Maps that it takes around about seven minutes to drive to Stanley Park from the central pier. And if you're walking, I would probably say it's a good half an hour walk, I'd say, but uh, you might want to walk, you know, it's a good walk. Not all of you are going to be driving and uh, there's lots of different ways to get there. So uh, let's see how we do, shall we? I'll show you all the things we see along the way as well. OK, so here we go. This is Chapel Street. Going past the, uh, the magistrates' courts and the police station on the left, the old police station on the left hand side. And just up here on the left, you can see the new multi story car park, Blackpool Central, with its new signage on it as well. Yeah, the first phase of that development is almost complete. But we're coming up to Central Drive now, and I'm going to take a left here. I'm going to take you the most direct route to Stanley Park. So I'm going to turn left here. See Blackpool Tower again now, Central Drive. I'm now going to take a right where that red car's going there, Hornby Road. So let's head up Hornby Road, shall we? This, once we get onto this road, it's almost a straight line 
straight to Stanley Park. Seagulls tucking into some takeaway there. Yeah, so this is Hornby Road. Quite a lot of hotels and that down here. So we're heading east now on the way to Stanley Park. We're just crossing the junction there with Park Road. So we're now on to the other half of Hornby Road. This doesn't have, doesn't really have hotels on this section of Hornby Road. It's more, it's more residential, this part of Hornby Road. So as we head further away from the promenade, we notice it starts to get quite a bit more residential. And you'll also notice as well that when we get down to the next junction, Whitegate Drive, you also find more trees. Yes, more greenery as we get closer to Stanley Park. Okay, we're now crossing the junction with Whitegate Drive and we're now coming now onto this road here. I'm going to bear right here. The road does naturally turn to the right. We're now heading straight towards the main gates of Stanley Park. It didn't take long. It didn't take long. I did get stuck at the traffic lights for, for quite a while there, so I had to cut that bit out. But yeah, we can see them in the distance now. I'm going to drive straight in to Stanley Park. Look at all this greenery. Here we go. From the promenade, Central Pier, to Stanley Park, the main gates. Here we go. Now you might be able to park along here, this section here, if it's not too busy. But they also have a car park at the top here. It's a free car park. So I think what we'll do is we'll head up there and uh, we'll be right in the park then, won't we? Right by the cafe, by the way. Yeah, the Parks Cafe is just up here. Here we go, this is the... Uh, this is actually the only car park that, you know, the only official car park in Stanley Park, funny enough, and it's not that big. Now you can park around the edges, you can park at the sports centre and things like that. I'm just going to park here, but we'll go and have a little look out, shall we? Check it out, I am now here in Stanley Park. How about that, eh? About seven or eight minutes drive from the promenade. It took me a bit longer than that, actually, because I got stuck at a few traffic lights along the way on Hornby Road but look at this this is the Parks Cafe check out these gardens here I'm gonna have to show you around well just look at this it's a world away from the promenade as well isn't it only a short distance but uh, we do have green spaces here in Blackpool you just got to search for them It is certainly a lot quieter than the promenade here at Stanley Park. You can see the clock tower up there. There's the clock tower. That's the focal point of the whole park. And down here, we've got the Italian gardens. Look at this. Wow. You can hear the birds singing as well. Not so many seagulls in Stanley Park. Well, they do have seagulls, but uh, you can hear other birds in here. Check it out. We're now looking over the lake. And if you come in the summer, you can take a boat on there. I can see swans. This is Stanley Park, folks. Just over there, we've got the bandstand. There you go. Can you hear the robin? Yeah, there's plenty of wildlife here at Stanley Park. So that was Blackpool Promenade to Stanley Park. I've showed you how to get here if you're coming in a car or also if you're walking and on a bus as well. I'll put a bit more information in the description and uh, there you go. I hope you liked the video. If you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one.